Get ready! You're tuned in to Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T, bringing you the hottest trending topics on social media. Stay connected. Instagram.com slash Lovely Tea 2002. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today. And welcome to Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T. This is my podcast. If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is my safe space where I keep it real and I say what I got to say and everything is unfiltered, okay? So first and foremost, yesterday was crazy on social media. A lot of drama was ensuing yesterday behind what Karuchi Tran had posted on her Instagram page. A lot of people had mixed feelings about this and um, I also reposted it and there was so much dialogue on my Instagram page that I knew I had to turn this into a podcast now on top of that um, my connect in China was really upset about everything too and she wanted to voice her opinion so I have her coming um, leaving her statement during the podcast as well so if you guys do not know this is what Karuchi Tran posted onto Instagram she says xenophobia is not okay to target and discriminate Asians is wrong in big capital letters there are Asians afraid to leave their homes there are people who already been hurt I know you guys have seen the video of the older Asian man angry face emoji the coronavirus is not the Chinese virus let's stop instilling more fear and hate the world is struggling enough as it is please stop this and then she also goes on to write please for the love of humanity so like I said a lot of people were really mixed of course the celebrities praised her and you know gave her props and agreed but the regular folks honey oh they were dragging her they had stuff to say so you know I kind of want to break this down because what I want to let people know is and to my Asian subscribers who send me messages and and send me you know well wishes and good words and encouragement Thank you. It means a lot to me because I'm so tired of this narrative being spun that I'm racist or I'm xenophobic against Asian people. I have no issues with anybody. But if you've been following me, you know, I'm all about truth and I'm all about receipts. And what's good for the goose is damn sure good for the gander. I don't mince my words. I don't play games and I don't throw rocks and hide my hands. So let's go ahead and, and, you know, kind of get into this and break this down. Now, what I find really interesting about Karuchi is this. Now, if you guys don't know, um, she's half black, half Vietnamese. To me, phenotypically, she looks like an Asian woman. When I see Karuchi, I don't see a black woman. I see an Asian woman because she looks more phenotypically Asian. Beautiful girl, I'm just saying. So what I find very funny about this is that when it comes to her Asian side, she's speaking very loudly and she's, you know, having their back as she should because she's a biracial. She's half Asian, half black. So she's speaking very loudly about this. She's calling out the discrimination, which I get. But I also had to give her the side eye because, again, this is the same woman who went on to 106 in Park and basically made fun of Blue Ivy's hair. Blue Ivy at that time was a baby. And she got on there, and this is what she said um, on 106 in Park. Y'all go ahead and check this out. But here are the top six things Blue Ivy thought about the VMAs with number six. I really did wake up like this because my parents never comb my hair. Oh, uh, uh, I can't. All right, so you guys just heard what she had to say. Basically, you know, accusing Beyonce and Jay-Z of not doing her hair. And that caused a huge backlash. If you guys do not know, that is why 106 in Park was canceled. After that, they basically suspended the producer. Karuchi went on an apology tour. And 106 in Park was no more. You know, so I just find that really funny that just a few years ago, you know, she's so quick to make fun of a child and their hair texture. And mind you, she's half black. So as a half black woman, even though you don't have that hair texture, you have more Asian textured hair. Why would you deem that as an okay joke? Why would you not as a woman say to the producer, like, nah, that's not funny. I don't want to go there. But again, that was years ago. People change. But I have to point that out. That's very important because she saw nothing wrong with the joke. She had no problem saying the joke. And it wasn't until she received the backlash is then when she chose to apologize. But when it comes to her Asian half, she's not playing that at all. A lot of people were very, you know, upset in stating this. And I just want to state some things. The reason why Karuchi and others are saying that is because they feel like, 
the president calling it the Chinese virus is causing a lot of xenophobia. So now my um, connect in China, she hit me up this morning and she was very upset because she's seeing the propaganda and she's seeing how people are being shamed and being accused of being xenophobic towards the Chinese. Meanwhile, her and other foreigners in China are experiencing real xenophobia, xenophobia that if it happened here, it'd be national news and those people would be shamed. But in China, they don't care. It's not national news. So she sent me videos of black people being kicked out of Chinese restaurants, not being let into the mall, white people, you know, being treated horribly by the Chinese as well. Because now what China is doing, they're trying to spin a narrative that the U.S. Army is the one who delivered the disease to Wuhan, that this was some type of foreign American plot to destroy the Chinese economy. And the Chinese people are regurgitating this. China is working behind the scenes to downplay the coronavirus outbreak, even going so far to falsely accuse the United States for starting it. This tweet from a Chinese government spokesperson claiming that the U.S. Army brought the virus to Wuhan. Amid a global pandemic, why the blame game? Senior research fellow with the Heritage Foundation's Asian Studies Center, Dean Chang, is here. Uh, why the blame, the blame game at this point, Dean? What's China's angle? Well, I think the Chinese are working very hard for two reasons. One is to basically uh, make sure that China isn't blamed for this global pandemic, to present itself as a responsible player. And this also has a domestic component, right? Uh, if the Chinese government says it was the Americans that started it, this is a message that will go over the Chinese government hopes well at home to basically say, look, if there were any problems, it wasn't our fault. It was the Americans who spread the disease to us. The South China Morning Post, Dean, is reporting that the first case happened in Wuhan, patient zero, back in November, November 17th of 2019. So I don't know how China's going to prove that. Again, many people scratching their heads and asking why it matters. However, with the pandemic now reaching our shores here in the U.S., do you think Beijing is emboldened? I think that the Chinese uh, are driven by a couple of things. One is that they clearly are able to influence a number of international organizations. Notice how long it took the World Health Organization, for mm. example, to finally declare a pandemic. Second of all is that they do have significant uh, portions of the American pharmaceutical supply chain. And I suspect that this is also an implicit threat against the United States to say, look, um, if, if you tick us off enough, we have the ability to turn off things like ibuprofen and precursor chemicals for penicillin. 95% of ibuprofen is supplied from China. That's an excellent point. Do you think they could limit their exports of uh, what we need right now in terms of masks and, uh, and disinfectants? To be fair to the Chinese, um, they have at this point probably the largest number of cases. So I'm not sure that we're seeing evidence of them deliberately slowing mm -hmm. down exports. But certainly I think the Chinese are going to prioritize meeting their own demands before they allow significant exports around the world. Why do you keep calling this the Chinese virus? They're, why do you keep using this? Because it comes from it's China. Racist. It's not racist at all. No, not at all. It comes from China. That's why. Go ahead, please. China and others have criticized you for using the phrase uh, Chinese virus. Uh, how do you feel about that? Are you going to continue using that phrase? Well, China uh, was putting out information which was false, that our military gave this to them. That was false. And uh, rather than having an argument, I said, uh, I have to call it where it came from. It did come from China. So I think it's a very accurate term. But no, I didn't appreciate the fact that China was saying that our military gave it to them. Our military did not give give it to anybody. But critics say using that phrase creates a stigma. Um. No, I don't think so. No, I think saying that our military gave it to them creates a stigma. Words matter. Only at that presents physical harm to the Asian American community. Medical experts and health experts agree that the proper term is COVID-19 or a novel coronavirus. By using this term, it adds nothing to the scientific community, but causes harm to the Asian American community. So I want you guys to go ahead and look at these screenshots that she sent me. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the videos. Then I'm also going to play you guys the audio that she sent me. I'm going to disguise her voice, of course. But I want you guys to listen to what she has to say as well. So you guys go ahead and check this out.
good morning, sis. Um, hope all is well with you. Um, I happen to see your uh, repost from what I believe Karuchi Tran had posted about stop being so xenophobic towards Chinese. I have saw some reports from certain media outlets and other uh, influential people, commentators on news broadcasts talking about is calling it the Chinese virus or the Wuhan races. And, you know, it made me kind of angry. First and foremost, as an American expat, having lived here off and on for more than a decade, I can tell you that there were times where things were better. I can tell you during the Obama administration, you had a lot of Chinese people that would come up and say, Obama! And, and really cool things, and if you said you were American, they would want to be inquisitive. Not that that doesn't still happen, but what that spurred on is this concept of Obama Black. So, if you want to get hired for to a job, they would prefer you to be Obama Black, meaning you need to be his skin tone or American to get opportunities here in China. I actually thought that was a joke until I started seeing Africans showing it in groups, work groups and WeChat, where even white people were saying it. Now, there has always been an issue with job posting saying no Africans, no blacks, white skin, blue eyes, but now, the racism and xenophobia has transgressed into everyone. Now you are seeing an uptick after this virus has now turned into a pandemic. And now that the Chinese have tried to quell and suppress the viral count and the numbers, now there's been an actual propaganda to suggest that this virus was originated outside of China. And that has been propagated in all fashions and in many different venues that us foreigners may not have access to. So much so that now even white, black, anybody that doesn't look Asian is receiving attacks. They won't sit next to us on the trains. They move away from us in, in open places. I had a friend who coughed the other day and the woman jumped back and almost got hit by a car. It's not just black people, although we're always on the bad end or the negative receiving end of things. But it has just gotten out of hand. And I am tired of seeing the commentary saying, oh, why are we calling it the Chinese virus? Well, what about the Ebola? What about the Zika? What about the African swine flu? Let's not even talk about how they were treating the Africans over here just a few months ago. Now, because they're propagating the words, suggesting that now they're calling it new uh, viruses or new cases that are imported into China, they are mistreating us. I can't tell you how many times that I've been harassed just trying to do regular business to determine if I've left the country or will they even serve me. So, to all of the people who are sitting here saying, oh, don't call it the Chinese virus, as a person of color, I could never sit back and support racism or xenophobia, any discrimination, because I know how that feels. 
But please, don't throw a rock and then hide your hand. Don't be the person that says, oh, this is happening to me. And then turn yourself to the left and do it to someone else. I am exhausted with it and people need to know. So what I think make people pay attention is money. So stop buying from them and maybe they'll start treating people with respect. Hey. Probably me. I cannot enter. Hmm? I cannot enter. They don't let black people in Qmax, just a future yeah. reference, yeah. that's a big. Just say it in no Chinese, black no black people allowed in Qmax, so please don't spend your money in Qmax because they don't let black people in for some reason, even though I spend the same money. No black people. After we waited two hours for Qmax. I love this place Why? and now Why? it's a problem because they don't like black people in. Oh, he just said it in Chinese. We don't like black people. My boss told me not to let black people He said it. He said it in Chinese. My boss told me don't let black people in. Don't touch me. No, 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 no. Don't touch me. No, 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 no. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Stop it. Stop it. You crazy? He's crazy. Don't touch him. No, 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 do, 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 we're not trying to call the problem, but they made it a problem. When you put your hands on people, no. it's rude. We call police. Why are you calling the police? Why are you calling me? Why are you calling me? My boss told me don't let black people in. Don't talk to me. Yes, yeah, let's, don't. please don't. We're leaving. We already paid. Paid money. Okay. But I'll make sure all the black That's people messy. know. Listen to this. It's My fine. boss tell me don't let black people it's get in. Fine. I get, I let you get in. What? Come on, let's go. Oh, we are four people. I swear he just said that. Please don't. Don't touch me. Oh, yeah. oh, hey. Don't touch me. Don't fucking go. Don't touch me. No, please don't, don't touch me. We are leaving. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. We are leaving. We are leaving. Don't touch me. We are leaving. It's not a problem. Don't touch me. Everyone just saw you. Everyone just saw you put your hand on me. Put it on me. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Don't touch me. No, 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 no. Fuck. Don't touch me. Hey, tea sippers! To listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.